Hey guys, Game of Marvel the card review today of Metion the Time Lord. Um, this card is a secret rare from Photon Shockwave. It's a level 11 fire monster. Um, it's a fiend, a fairy effect, and its effect is um, cannot be special summoned from the deck. If you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Or by card effects. You take no battle damage from battles involving this face up attack card. At the end of the battle phase, uh, the, at the end of the battle phase, um, if this card attacked or was attacked, if this card attacked or was attacked, return all the monsters on the field to the hand and inflict three hundred damage to your opponent for each card returned. During your standby phase, shuffle this card into the deck, even if it's face down. So, I really, really like this card, apart from the final bit where it says that you got to shuffle it back into your deck. Because if you just keep it there like that, and they keep attacking, and they're constantly returning stuff to their hands. But I guess if it could do that, it'd be really broken. Um, I guess it's like a Cyber Dragon, in the fact that you can special summon it, well, get it on the field if your opponent controls a monster, uh, I mean if you don't control any monsters. But only it's normal summoned, and you, they're not required to have any monsters. Um, I like the idea of using this against Chaos Dragons. Like, if I could get more of these, I wouldn't mind siding them in for them. But I'm going to try and main it and see what I can do with it, because I think it's a really, really amazing card. Um, so again, yeah, it's from Photon Shockwave. Photon Shockwave is a good set. Um, the, the main secrets in there, like Wind Up Zen Main to Wind Up Rabbit, and... Rescue Rabbit, they're the money cards. But to be honest, if I got Fortnite Shockwave, I wouldn't mind pulling this guy. Because I'd like a playset of him. Um, and yeah, the fact that your opponent loses 300 life points for each monster they control. I guess it's good to side in if you're playing something like Wind-Ups or... Um, insectors. Yeah, Insectors. Because this can stop Insectors, can't it? Because um, they can't get through it. So, maybe there's even a deck that can be run around this card. Um... But yeah, so just a little card review of Metai on the Time Lord. Um, I think you should try and pick up a copy for yourselves. I love it. It's not played much, and I think it's mainly not played much because of its last effect. But if it stayed on the field like a Spirit Reaper, it'd just be a boss. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Please comment below with your thoughts, because your thoughts always matter. So yeah, the artwork's pretty nice as well. Nice little secret rare. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.